Hello guys and welcome to the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube here. Today, if you haven't tuned in before, we're reviewing this 1988 IROC-Z finished in the beautiful black. You see we got a very slick uh, little blue strip of uh, decal down at the bottom, excuse me there. Come right around guys, I want to show you the impressive features, the, uh, the poster shots, the side profile of this car is so slick, so aggressive. We got those famous, famous 16 inch aluminum wheels, killing it on here. All the center caps showing you IROC Z as well. They are clear and in wonderful shape. And then that famous IROC Z decal. That's what really set these Camaros apart. When you saw one coming down the road, you were peeking for this graphic. This one's got it. It's in lovely shape and still killing it. Joey, work your way around. I'm going to uh, quick look at these door cards. We'll pop the trunk here in a second. Go back there. This thing has been really, really well cared for and has uh, a ton, a ton of stories still to be told about it. A lot of chapters left to be written in this car's book here. Let me pop that trunk. It even helps you open it. Very good. Now you come back here, you notice this thing has really shows no signs of wear anywhere. Um, very, very clean and plush carpet. These speakers we got in the back, these lovely little four inch bows. They're looking great. No damage, nothing's ever thrown on them. Not blown out. All good, good, good. You see up here, we still got the original uh, uh, VIN sticker on this trunk. Clean Carfax with this one as well. And we'll show you how this seals up all on its own all the way back in 88. Very cool. And then another killer feature on the backs of these cars too. These lenses, ton of design, ton of styling in them, all broken up beautifully by these lines. Very cool, very, very cool. This vehicle here we're looking at too, guys. You notice we got a dual stainless tips coming out the back. This car has a Flowmaster system on it, giving it a killer sound. All right. Now, come around to the driver's door, or sorry, passenger side door. See, that opens up very lovely. We have another beautiful, beautiful door card here. And let me show you this door closing up. Very, very good. All right, give me just a moment. I'm gonna pop this hood. We're gonna show you something pretty slick. Oh yeah, man. These are cool cars, guys. I love showing them to you. This one, a very impressive 350 under the hood. Mm -hmm. The uh, earlier models didn't get as much horse, didn't get as much displacement. They fixed it in the 88, giving it some more, uh, some more power, more displacement. A few more inches to brag about, if you know what I mean. Very slick, very slick. And then here, guys, you see we got power disc brakes on all four corners. There's your big brake booster. It's got cold AC. Gotta love it. Power steering, fuel injection. Super slick. Then with these cars, too, all of them have this really, really sweet big ram air intake. Cramming all sorts of cold stuff down that sweet looking intake manifold. Bunch of original stickers. There's your uh, Vintag sticker again, it's original to the car. Spring in here, very good. Nice. We'll seal this up. Perfect. Now, guys, I'm going to jump in here, fire it up. We'll hear this three, uh, 350 57 bad boy. And then click through the lights, go for a little stroll, and see if we could see some stars through these T tops. All right, now for those lights. A little bit of driver blinker. Pack 
passenger blinker. We got the horn. We got the brights. Out of the driver's side. Brake. Reverse light. And then lastly for you. All right, guys, so we're sitting inside of this lovely car now, and a lot of you watching are prospective buyers, so what we really try to do here is give you the grand tour of the interior, get you as familiar with this vehicle as possible, show you the ins and outs, the nooks, the crannies, the bells, the whistles, and the buttons. So we're in here now, and I'll start. Um, we have a tilt column in this lovely car. Locks back into place like it should. Watch up here, I'm gonna turn these blinkers on. In case you, you couldn't see, there we go for the driver's side. Um, all of your, your light switches, it's a two-step switch. Very bright, works just as it should. We have the fog light right here. Oh, I gotta have the lights on for that to work. There we go. Very, very good. Um, rear defrost, cigarette lighter, very clean. Very nice, and it is working. Um, all around the wheel, very good. The dash pad is very nice. Down here to our uh, entertainment center here, we've got this lovely radio. It's an AM, FM, and you got a tape deck. We'll buzz this on here. Very good, and I'll show you two guys. We can switch this over to AM if you like. With just the click of this button. And then down here, shut that off now. Um, we turn this on, whatever we want. You'll hear that blower motor come on. It's gonna pick up a little bit as I click it to a medium speed. And high. Working just as it should. We'll turn that off there. Now, coming on down here, we have one more uh, ashtray inside of here. Very nice. All around these things, they're so much inspired by, you know, airplanes and things of that. It's, it's very cool. It's the door latches. It's all the hardware around these panels. Very, very good. Now on to the joystick in this little fun ride. I hit it from a weird angle here, but just to show you that that red follows us no matter where we go. It isn't getting stuck anywhere. It doesn't lag behind and right back into park. Um, we've showed you this trunk working. The switches are all very bright. Show you your windows going up. Mm -hmm. Now onto the passenger side there. All very good. Now take a look at this. The handle on this brake um, is in very good shape. None of the stitching is split. Very good. Release that. Now onto our center council here all in very good shape looks like we got a tape of uh, eddie money in there for you um all your rpo codes inside of here giving you the breakdown of all the goodies this car has this one pretty well option we got the big motor we got the t-tops nice little auto posi in the back the stripes everything very cool we got the rear defrost lots and lots of goodies in here Passenger side mirror all tidy. Visor over here smooth. This mirror is looking good. Let me show you these couple of overhead lights. Very good. Now the rear seats in this car, this is where it gets really interesting. There is hardly any sign of wear in those, which is really, really cool. There's a quite a bit of room back there too for the kids for full-size passengers whatever it be this is a car you can go and uh, have a lot of fun with so I dig that yeah, and you're gonna be uh, some of the first people to ever get to experience an IROC from the back seat not many have done it in this car and it shows now on to the lock unlock just to show you switch is very bright lock unlock We're hitting the street in this lovely little car. Gonna open it up a little bit for you guys here real quick. <laughs> I 
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. She's got the 350 tomb port injection. Yeah, I got a set of Flowmasters in the back. You like them? <laughs> this thing is a smooth car, guys. They're a fun, fun time to get in the in the cockpit of and, and get behind the wheel. And here, we'll, we'll take a corner. We'll let this car do the talking. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Get that window up. I apologize. And again, you see all them gauges working for us. We're doing a cool 50 miles an hour. Takes the bumps, does it all very well. Get up to speed, no steering wheel shaking. We wanna stop this thing. If this breaks, we'll stop it on a dime. Let's see what kind of turning radius we got in this bad boy. <laughs> Tight parking is not gonna be a concern if you're driving this car. Very good. Really, really smooth uh, linear, linear acceleration. That power gets delivered very well too. This transmission's doing a great job hitting us through the gears. You hardly can even tell when this thing shifts. This is just that smooth. Uh, this one's really, really been cared for. You want to buy a car from the kind of guy who baby these things. He collected these cars. He had a couple IROCs. And um, we're happy and a bit lucky here to be presenting all of these to you guys. Um, so just keep that in mind, too, when you're thinking about this car. It hasn't been totally hopped up and gone crazy. It hasn't been some, you know, high school in here ragging on it, taking it to the drag strip, even though that's totally fine. This just isn't one of those. It's been babied. It's been very well cared for. You know, this is what's this car? Over over 30 years old today. We're almost ticking 2021. Um, it's really really amazing how well this thing's been preserved. I love seeing them taken care of like this. And whoever ends up with this car, who's ever thinking about it, it's always wanted one of these things. Now is a great time. I know the market's been hot on these. Every time I turn around, we're getting calls about high rocks. People want to know more about them. It's very cool. I got a feeling that in the next maybe couple months, year, we're going to see another spike in the values, which is good, which is good, man. These cars deserve it. They're that cool. A new generation's coming on wanting these cars back because they had so much fun, so many memories in them. And what's good about a car like this, guys, is you can drive this thing, not have to sweat about it, and it still has so much life, so many stories still to be told about it. It's got a lot of chapters left in the book. Congratulations to our subscriber of the month, Mr. Spitfire. We're gonna give you some revs here on this beautiful IROC. Folks, 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 <laughs> we just did a quick zero to 60 stopper. These disc brakes are killing it. One thing before we go, I appreciate all you guys watching this, checking out the channel. We got a lot of cool cars and uh, we love telling you the stories behind them. So guys, if this one interests you, you want to know anything more about it, give us a jingle. The number is 248-714-2110. We'll put that along with our email. Reach out to us anyway. The guys will get on it. Take care of you, whatever you need, whether it's a question about shipping, um, how we could do financing, anything, you name it, we got an answer. Thank you guys for checking this out. My name is Mackenzie. As always, my treat. We will see you in the next one.